these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. We think we get a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. It's a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Out of range with that one. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center. Look. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Oh, that's a good right hand. Look at him drive his shin into the perfect body with that body kick. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Blocks the shot. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Set up that takedown. That's a big strike right there. Oh, nice land there by Johnny Bones. Mike Winklejohn told me before the fight, you haven't seen 30% of what John Jones does in the gym. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happened when this guy hits the double leg. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes with your opponent. McGregor gets up. He is back on the feet here. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, that right hand is on point. 15 seconds remain in the round. Big power shot there. Over and over, this guy's getting hit oh, right God. in his face. Yeah, stop. Right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, second round is getting Good underway. Fight. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management better than most fighters. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. That one snuck in. Nice strike. 36 total strikes have landed for John Jones. And the connection rate is pretty good. 55% to this point in the fight against Conor McGregor. Look at him top of the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, he's the taller fighter when able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Oh, what a punch. Oh, and he lands him another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. 
bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Just over two minutes now to go in the round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. I mean, he's cutting it down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. on the feet, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Jones is trying for a Kimura here. Shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh man, that was slick. All right, north south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. And that's the end of round number two. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That's this fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight. But now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Well, the numbers continue to pile up. 54 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Well, more often than not, you see when the strike has been thrown, it has found the home. 52% the accuracy rate against Conor McGregor. Just missed with the left there. Nice kick there by Johnny Bones. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Also, oh, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, right, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again... Right there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Big leg kick land. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Jones' lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by McGregor. 
Well, that left is the strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Nice punch lands over the top. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Just kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, you man. Gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I gotta think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's gonna think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to the fight. So, for him to secure, oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just over three minutes now to go. Beautiful strike. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to also land. Another knockdown! Back to the feet! Nice punch by McGregor. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Side control now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high punch. He's taking it for a ride. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Those are sounds for the end of round four. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down, even if you get up over and over. He has the ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Jones's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, 
strike combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Trying to establish that jab once again. Slips to avoid the right. Punch over the top. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Three minutes now to go in this one. Throws the right hand there. Wow. Jones gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Good work from the top here by Jones. He's putting him in exactly the position. And that's gonna do it! Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a massive TKO win for him here tonight. He put it all together, near perfect execution, and he gets one of the bigger wins of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop in this contest. At two minutes, 41 seconds of round number five. He played the winner by TKO, John Bones Jones! you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop.